When I describe practices like trunk-based development, test-driven development, and continuous delivery, I sometimes get some pushback from people who assume that stuff like this only works for very simple systems. They're wrong, of course. All of these techniques not only work for more complex systems, but they make the development of these more complex systems significantly easier too. One reasonably common pushback that I get is, yes, but this couldn't possibly work for games. I'm afraid that those people saying those things are simply wrong too. These techniques work great for games, even AAA console games. So what does it take to adopt continuous delivery and its surrounding practices for a AAA game? Rare Game Studio is part of Microsoft, and amongst other games titles, they're responsible for producing a game called Sea of Thieves, a massively multiplayer AAA game that was created and is maintained using continuous delivery. This is not the only continuous delivery game. There are others being built uh, this way, including Minecraft these days. 